So before I get on with today's review, I have a bit of request to make. I'm looking for a working copy of this DVD. This is Magical Memories, The Ice Princess by Cascadia Labs. I've gone through two copies. First one, didn't work at all. Second one, I got 10 minutes out of it. And I was really having my heart set to review it this month, but alas, that didn't happen. So if any of you out there find it in the wild, contact me, get it shipped to me, and I'll make it worth your while somehow. I don't know. Maybe I'll give you a shout out or something. I don't know. We'll think of something. So because I couldn't review this, I decided I'd go with a backup. And here we are. I was kind of hesitant to do another golden film, but I figured, hey... How you took years off of my life, and well, things aren't panning out that great. Might as well, you know, make the death a little quicker. So I'd take something out of this dual feature DVD. And when I flipped the coin, I guess I hit the jackpot with Princess Castle. I mean, they're not lying. This might be a princess, and this up here may be a castle. And, uh, you know, when you get a great title like that, Princess Castle, it takes me back to those days when I was playing the NES, and I had those wonderful generic titles like... Tag Team Wrestling. Yeah, there were tag teams, and I think they were wrestling. Way to go, Data East. Or Bad Dudes. There were dudes on the screen, and the controls were bad, so you weren't lying. Oh, that was Data East, too. Well, two for two. And finally, my personal favorite, Mystery Quest. I sure as hell don't know what this quest is about, Still lost in the sauce 20 plus years later. What the fuck ever. But getting back to this. You'll notice in the corner that there's this little thing that says family approved. And I had to do a little bit of research on it. So apparently this thing that looks like a dove is, well, the dove organization. And what they do is they review all sorts of media content to make sure that it's family approved for Christian families. And when I did some more digging, I looked in to see what Princess Castle got. And they got four out of five doves. That made me think, what on earth could you do in an innocuous cartoon as Princess Castle? Could you possibly lose a dove? So let's take a look at this, find out. Maybe they lost a dove in Duck Hunt, who knows. <laughs> Are you kidding? Two pieces of gold could buy out that entire truck and Mr. Creamy. And then you could use them for whatever sexual deviance you want. <sighs> Please take this ice cream. It represents the last shred of joy I have ever felt in my heart. Now if you'll excuse me, I have some more see to listen to. <laughs> Whoa, did she just hit a cat? Take off those roller skates. No way, Mom, I'm not gonna take off these bitch and shadow skates. Sorry, that's an inside joke mainly for me. So, if you don't like it, screw you, this is my review. Someday that daydreaming is gonna get you into big trouble. Yeah, daydreaming is how I end up with you two little accidents. Well, I'm late, gotta run. Wish me luck, Emerald Eyes. Good luck, Mom. Uh, not to nitpick here, but... THOSE EYES ARE BLUE! EMERALDS ARE GREEN! Just saying. Remember, dear, no daydreaming. Alright, so before I keep on making jokes about this movie, I guess I should give you some sort of synopsis of what this thing is about. So apparently this story is about a girl named Claire, who might be the daughter of Dolly Parton. And while she might not be around her mother all that much, she is under the watchful eye of Hillary Clinton's understudy, who is late for a job interview or business meeting or something, I guess. She doesn't really give us too many details about it, but she's saddled with babysitting her little sister, who might only be like three or four years younger than her. Because why wouldn't you leave a child in charge of a child? It makes sense, right? Worst things have happened, I guess. Sounds really riveting, doesn't it? Maybe a nice puzzle? That's your favorite? It works every time. <laughs> what kid loves puzzles more than anything? 
I can't even get my nephews to do something like that. Wait a minute. Is she giving the kitten paste to eat? Think you guys left some garbage area exposed beneath the window. Not that I care or anything, you know, quality animation. Woohoo. I wish I rode around on a pretty white pony. And that's another thing. I would appreciate it if you'd stop calling me pony. I am a lady, and I wish to be addressed as such. And I wish there were ladies in waiting and guards to take care of you. <laughs> um, transition much? Meanwhile, Claire is having an acid trip about being royalty or some shit, when the stairs suddenly eat her sister. They stumble into some compartment beneath the staircase when... Why are they playing the Nutcracker Suite? Alright, this is Golden Films. They pride themselves on exploiting public domain music. Let's see what's inside. No. The sisters discover a book possibly explaining their heritage and a parchment and... Come on, Claire, it's the same damn book you already opened up, you dodo. Claire discovers a locket after it falls out and... <laughs> what the hell just happened? That's the second transition you tried to snap my neck with. And then you top it off with playing more public domain music. God, way to put in some effort, Golden Films. Where is here? Oh, come on. Stormtroopers have better aim than this. You are not a trespasser. How do you explain this? Hey, watch where you're grabbing, bucko. Let them go. Hop aboard, quick. Oh, great. Leonardo is here to save the day. Hey, Cam Clark. Um, why are you in this cartoon? Who do you owe money to that you had to take this shitty gig? Were they threatening to break your legs? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> and then she died. That's right, I'm bringing back a crappy joke because Leonardo, even during an escape, is a terrible leader. Uh, horses aren't meant to do that. I would feel pretty fucking terrified about now. So they arrive at Leo Numnut's secret clubhouse. What the heck's going on around here? Holy golly gosh language, young lady. I mean, gee willikers, shit you have a potty mouth. Maybe that's where that one dove went. Once upon a time. Oh, please. So Leo Ding Dong displays his Gutenberg device so he can mac on Claire as well as explain what the situation is. Uh, just an aside here. Dude, you already saved her. You don't need to use a hi-fi system in Led Zeppelin 4 to suck face with her now. It would just be overkill. The good King James died. Princess Emma, being the oldest by one minute, not to mention the kindest, was supposed to become the queen. So being older by one minute makes you nicer? I wonder if that holds true for Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. But Princess Carlotta had plans to right this wrong. The good princess was seized by Carlotta's evil chambermaid and personal bodyguard. <laughs> Carlotta threatened the royal doctor and forced him to say that he had been mistaken and Carlotta had been born first and was thus entitled to the throne. The princesses look to be in their early 20s at least. I don't think the kingdom's going to accept a reversal of birthright just like that. I mean, it would take a complete community of fickle pricks to, you know, just go along with that. Of course, I could be wrong. Furthermore, what the hell do these mice have to do with anything? Do they contribute to the story in any way? Are they Leo Nipnard's pets? Who are they? The movie doesn't tell us, so I guess we'll never know. And I really wanted to know! Damn it! And Carlotta put her spell of darkness over our palace. <laughs> you know, I never understood when villains are in power, they have this tendency to make places look really shitty. 
I mean, I understand when you are in charge, you want the place to look slightly intimidating, but I'd really rather have it look livable. I mean, yeah, you want to discourage any potential enemies, but why would you go to the lengths of making the place look shitty? So what does this evil villain do to the place? Holy shit, that is a downgrade. Damn, she is the epitome of evil. You met two of Queen Carlotta's guards. They're all over the palace. Well, how come they didn't get you back there? They're not used to seeing me in these clothes. What kind of jag-off excuse is that? I never heard anybody ever say they couldn't get caught because of the clothes they were wearing. It's not camouflage, you moron. You're wearing patchwork clothes. So again, Leo Lippair is the, the worst, worst leader ever. ever. How is this door hinged? Who the hell built this, a 10-year-old? No, wait. A 10-year-old did build this. My mistake. Where'd she go? I don't know, but I do know that I'm going after her. I'm right behind you. Wow, what a time waster. Fucking horse elevator. That's brilliant. You know, I've been making jokes that he's voiced by Leonardo, but he might actually be Da Vinci. Who knew? Again with the lack of transitions. Was the whole concept scrapped to save money? Well, this is Golden Films. I wouldn't put it past them. to see something eye to eye right now um how did she get there just minutes ago there were guards trying to capture her and now she's in the castle having fun for some odd reason with no repercussions she's just there and i don't know how this happened so could you fill me in? Hmm. Just a little. Just, just, just a skosh. Be nice. Hmm. Please. Why the hell do I bother? I know you're not gonna tell me. Ooh, what an enchanting child! Always wanted a little girl. Palace 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 Palace. Palace. Uh, well, since the movie's not gonna help me fill in these gaps, I guess I'll fill the gaps in myself. So, Caitlin, the baby, crawls undetected through the castle, evades all guards. I mean, shit, she could probably teach Snake a thing or two. Ends up in the throne room, doing what fuck all ever she wants. And then Queen Bitch here just sees her. Says, hey, I think I'll adopt this kid. Which leads me to think, wow, you just assume what the fuck ever you want. I mean, I know you're royalty and you guys can do whatever fuck hell you like to do. But you question nothing about where this baby came from. Whose it is. You're just like, hey, kid, mine, ah, divine right and all that other good shit. But are you really that stone cold frigid that the only way that you will ever have offspring is by kidnapping a child? You may want to evaluate your life decisions, woman. Just saying. Now I have a daughter. Soon I'll get the magic dream sapphire. Then there will be no limit to my power. <laughs> Guard. Change her. Hooray, a poop joke. Gotta love family films that are dove approved. Hell, I bet this bit right here just gave them their first two doves. She'll have a proper nursery set up for you, but in the meantime, you can stay with me, my little princess. Damn! Maybe getting kidnapped wasn't all that bad. I 
Stay tisk tisk. Poor little bambina. Oh, she's a little brat for me. All right, film. Uh, let's 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 just look this over just a quick second. Why do I have to see talking candles? Why are they relevant to the story, if at all? Could it be that you made this film in 1996 and kids still remember Beauty and the Beast and you've already ripped that off twice and you didn't want to go for the trifecta and really have Disney on your ass so you took a generic title and threw in this little nugget so that kids would really like it. I'm assuming that's what you did because I don't know why these three Italian candles are saying anything in this scene at all. They contribute Nothing to the story. Absolutely nothing. And I'm left to wonder, what are they there for? Should I care? And the answer to these questions are... No. Guards! At your service, your majesty. Okay, who are these guys? Are they her secret troops? They don't look like the other guards. Movie, you're leaving me with more questions than answers. And I'm starting to lose my shit. Fat chance they'll let us in. Do you have a change of clothes in your saddlebag? Yeah. What are you thinking? Oh, when we go into the castle disguised as a couple of minstrels. Stop, stop, stop. Can we just, just please, just, can we process what the hell just happened? They're planning on trying to get into the castle. And so she asks Leo Fipnard if he has any kind of spare clothing. And magically, out of convenience, he has a spare dress. I don't normally fashion question anybody. I mean, look at me. I, clearly, I know all about fashion. But why is Leo Dipsnarp carrying a dress does he participate in medieval burlesque on the side that i don't know about movie can you help i don't know why i keep asking i know you're not gonna answer anything not that i would expect a movie to tell me shit Is there not a single person in this infernal castle who can quiet this charming child? I hate singing. I what color is this woman's hair? Does she have that many wigs or what? I hate singing. I mean, no! We'll have them sing my little prized possession to sleep. If they can, they may have dinner in the servants' quarters. If they can't... Yes, ma'am, I know the routine. Damn, and I thought Simon Cowell was harsh. More animate objects? Really? Are they going to do anything? Are they going to participate in anything? Are they going to be a part of the revolution that I don't know about? I mean, honest to God, why are they there? What are they doing? Why should I care? Here's a thought. If they do something, movie, I'll give them a nice little trophy. Ooh. Get on your ass and do something! <laughs> be quiet! Just be quiet! Oh, reminds me of my own mother. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Oh, filthy urchins. Well, you're here to sing, aren't you? Stand over there. You smell like you've been living in a pig pen. Close your eyes, come along. No, no, we are not going through another Golden Film song. Every time I hear one of those songs, I write in the script that I do something insane and potentially hurt myself. Not going through that again this time, all right? We're going to cut this shit. We're going to cut this shit now, okay? I'm begging you. We are cutting this shit now. Cut it! Dream a dream, sing the song. I fucking warned you! God damn it. Shakes, 
sir. I'm gonna have to ask you to calm down. This is highly inappropriate behavior for a video review. Who the fuck are you? I know you're just me in another outfit, but what do you want? Sir, your behavior in this video review is reprehensible at best. In fact, it does not even coincide with YouTube community standards. And as such, I am here to ensure that the proper punishment is carried out. So what? You're just gonna delete my video or take down my channel? Please. It's already happened to me once. There's nothing you can do that'll actually scare me. In fact, do your worst! No! God, no, you can't do this to me! I, even though I wrote that in the script and that's what I'm supposed to do! You can't do this to me! I'm a Z-list YouTuber! You can't! You can't- Please! Please! I'll do anything! Please! Don't! Nothing! I don't want to do this! Please, dear God! No! Ha 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 